Hey everybody, it is me, Meredith, and I'm just going to talk about a couple of, I guess we call them new products. I'm going to talk about something that I'm pretty excited about, and then I'm probably going to touch on the list, as we're calling it. Um, so anyway, I've had a pretty good week. I attended a L'Oreal event this week for a brand that they recently acquired called Dessange, which is a, um, well, it's from Paris, it's out of Paris but it's pretty popular in Europe and uh, they have a couple of different types of, of products like uh, hair types for different hair types can't even speak so this time around I tried the California blonde the illuminating shampoo and the color the illuminated conditioner and this is for color treated blonde hair it smells amazing it's got passion flower extract in it and you can definitely smell the floral and I also um, applied the California Blonde Illuminating Elixir that also has passion flower extract in it. So first impressions, really like the shampoo. This is the first time I've kind of left my hair straight um, and I haven't curled it. The reason being it is snowing like crazy outside and um, I knew it would just kind of, my hair just wouldn't do anything if I um, curled it, you know, even with the hat, even with the, my hood up, all that stuff. So so far so good really like it I stopped by the face shop um, I really like there's a product made by uh, Holika Holika which is another Korean um, cosmetics brand and they make like a BB primer jelly or a makeup starter or something or other and um, Holika Holika is on is downtown on Queen Street I believe Queen West I'm hardly ever there face shop has a lot more locations but they don't have a product that's exactly similar However, I did pick up their BB Essence BB Base, which is a color corrector, and uh, you put this on before you put your makeup on, and it looks very reminiscent of Olay makes one of these, uh, their Total Effect 7 CC, and also uh, Stilet makes one too, and it's the same type of thing. Um, actually, I'm really enjoying it. It is really nice. It's not a heavy silicone base. Um, product can't feel the silicone in it applies nicely really evens out my skin tone so that when I put my makeup on it's easy peasy received a package in the mail from one of my favorite Canadian cosmetics brands and that would be uh, Annabelle now I've been talking about um, one of my favorite 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 Annabelle products ever um, is the Lipsy and cherry so they sent me another one, and I may be doing a giveaway for this because um, I like it so much, and it's not that expensive, so, you know, why not? And then they also sent me one in lychee, lychee, lyche, lyche, I should know how to say that, right? Definitely. Then they sent me a blush in rosebud, which I'm excited to try. I actually was a big fan. They used to have a loose mineral pigment blush and I still have it but they don't make that anymore and I wish they did so I'm hoping that this kind of gives me the same type of effect as the loose mineral pigment does because I really enjoy the loose mineral pigment and finally the um, Annabelle Biggie bronzer matte this is the zebra stripe so sorry it's still attached in the package um, I'm a huge fan of their bronzers Look at the amount of product, the amount of product, the colors, um, the pigment, and the fact that this is matte, that's a huge plus because most of them um, were shimmery, but I'm really excited to try that. The other thing I'm super excited about is that one of my favorite jewelry lines is finally coming to Canada. And it's coming to Canada. Not only is it coming to Canada, but I'm actually going to be uh, selling it. So as far as I'm concerned, we're going live in Canada mid-March. What I'm talking about is Origami Owl and what they're most known for are these things that they call living lockets. So these are things that you can design yourselves. It comes with this uh, locket base and then they have all these charms that you can put in the actual locket itself. And then they have chains. They also have earrings. They have, uh, I think they have bracelets. They have leather bracelets. They have all sorts of collections. So I'm very excited. I actually have my starter kit right next to me and I was so excited yesterday. I knew if I opened it, I would probably have exploded with joy. Not that that's a bad thing, but I didn't want to open it um, until today. I have to get the dining room table uh, 
you know, cleaned off and I thought, you know, it's a snow day as far as I'm concerned. So today's a perfect day to do that. So I'm going to be doing that, that this afternoon. So check out my Instagram because I'll be posting photos of that for sure. And I have a Facebook page, shameless plug, um, which I will put the information for that in the description box uh, down below. Finally, don't want to make this video too long, but I am going to address, um, the list because there has been a little bit of controversy surrounding this list. Um, if you don't know what the list is, it's it should be showing at the bottom of all my videos. Um, I think maybe two videos ago I started putting it up and then I've put it up every single time. And what the list is, it's a list of people um, that you can watch on YouTube if you're looking for new YouTubers and most of them are um, what we would call mature women so they're a, probably just a smidge older than me, they don't look it, that's for sure. Um, and the list was uh, developed, comprised, assembled by um, Carol of the O Carol Show. So I just want to say very uh, thank you very much, Carol, for including me, asking me to be included. Uh, participation is completely voluntary. If you want to participate, you ask Carol. She tells you what you have to do in order to put your video up. So the controversy comes in where people were saying that there was some unfairness and that the link only directs back to her videos um, and um, Carol's videos, the creator of the list. And I have to say, of course it does, um, because she's the one that spent all the time creating, developing, and updating this list, which she continues to update. Um, and if you as a person who, who feels upset by this list or feels it's unfair or have taken the time to analyze it in an almost 30 minute long video, then number one, you've got a lot of time on your hands. And number two, instead of taking the time to make a video like that, you probably should take that time, which you're not gonna get back by the way, because time is our one asset that we have no control over. It's here, we use it, it's gone. But you should take that time, that 30 minutes, and do something good to help other people. Let your actions speak louder than your words. Don't micromanage and analyze every aspect of what this woman was doing and how she is, you know, have these conspiracy theories about how she's trying to, to bump up herself and she doesn't care about anybody. That is absolutely ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Take your time, manage it, manage it doing something else. Go feed dogs at the SPCA. Go visit an elderly neighbor. Go play the piano or sing a song at a nursing home. Go visit an orphanage. Be a big brother or a big sister. Don't make a 30 minute video talking about how furious you are and, and just basically breaking down this list versus this list, who's on this list. That is just, that, that is so silly and you should absolutely be ashamed of yourself. Seriously, honestly. So, like I said, participation in this list is absolutely voluntary. I'm going to keep participating in it because the only way I'm able to look and find new YouTubers is if somebody puts this together or mentions it to me because I work two jobs, okay? One full-time, one on my own. I'm about to start this business and I don't have time to go searching and look through comments. There's a list. I look through it. If I like it, I subscribe. That's how it works. That's how it works. So that's all I got to say. Probably going to get uh, quite a few thumbs down on this. Don't really care because Basically, if you even if you thumbs down my video, you still have to watch it. So I still get the click. You know what I mean? It's a win-win for me. Have a great week, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye.